Yeah, yeah. You already know what it is. Your host, Paul Frank, reporter for DJY TV. We're going to get right into it. Now, look, shout out to DJY, DJY Jr. for putting me on. We're going to jump right into these stories. I got y'all. First one I want to talk about is Kanye West and good music, as he's promising to give the artist of his label back his masters, um, their masters. So, this is a huge um, moment because if they can actually do that for everybody, it'll probably be the best uh, and most beneficial move that these people can make while they're on the label because obviously this is regarding their um, the master uh, recordings for their songs and it's very important for them to own it because that deals with their own work, the money, and you don't want nobody else owning that because they basically grab you, uh, you know, that you're basically a prisoner to your own work, which shouldn't be the case since they put in so much work and effort into it. You want to make sure you own your own master. So he came out publicly saying that he's actually going to get 50% share back back to the artist uh, for each one of them. And Big Sean already responded saying that that would be actually very helpful. Um, and honestly, like, people starting to wonder if he is doing that because he got a trick up his own sleeve or does he really want to help the artist let me know what y'all think down in the comments i don't me personally i don't really agree with a lot of the stuff that kanye west has done especially all the political stunts and just a lot of you know off the wall stuff music is one thing but the other thing is just way too much for me so y'all let me know let me know i want to know what y'all think in the comments please leave some comments let me know what y'all thinking about this move. I think it's good for the for the whole community and everybody should own their own masters. So if you're an artist, if you're a rapper, if you're a musician, make sure you own your masters. We gonna keep it moving. Now, on to the next topic. Um, recently, there's been some news about BG from the Hot Boys. We all know he's been incarcerated since 2012. Mighty, mighty, mighty long time. Um, recently, we got news with the documents and everything that back in April this year the mom actually um, sent a letter to the judge pleading with the judge basically um, for BG to be released earlier um, and it was actually accepted as a motion by the court and the letter was in attempt to lower the 14 year prison sentence and he actually uh, was sentenced in July of 2012 and if he serves his whole time, he'll probably be released sometime in 2026, which is a crazy, crazy long time to sit in jail. The mom wrote a real, a real heartfelt letter to the judge explaining that BG is now rehabilitated. He's respected by the guards, by other inmates. He's influenced other inmates to change their behavior, focus on being positive. And when he gets out of the prison, um what he plans to do to use his platform in a positive way to reach out to many people and have them change their life around. This is huge, especially in the moment where we in now, where everybody's coming to terms with the reality, the injustice, the pandemic, crazy economy with no jobs out here. Everybody's struggling for the most part. Um, shout out to BG, shout out to the hot boys, man. I want to see that man get out. So free BG. Um, and you know on the positive thing on, on the, one of the good things is that thankfully the judge which is judge morgan they sided with bg so they're actually planning to make a formal request because the letter was kind of like done like you know uh unofficially but it was still accepted by the court so now they're basically going to plan to make a formal request to have them released from prison in the near future because you know obviously he's way past that already like it's about time to let that man go already. So free BG. Um, shout out to the families involved for making that effort. And I want to see him get out soon too. Um, and while we're on the topic of BG, I want to talk about Baby Gangster, which is this dope movie I seen yesterday starring Mitchie Slick, Compton Menace, Slink, Johnson's is in the, Slink Johnson is in the movie too from Black Jesus. He's always dope. Um, the movie is actually about gang culture and the choices that these guys have to make and the movie takes a, a good angle because basically um 
it's about changing that 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 mentality around and basically doing something with your life so you can turn it around and be um you know in a safer environment also make business moves that will take you out of that danger zone so i saw the movie you guys i suggest you guys um support the movie uh, it's an independent film you can watch it on vimeo you can rent it it's really dope the soundtrack is dope as hell like they really got a lot of um nice tracks on there that i haven't heard before so i'm gonna watch it again before it's up so i can shazam some of these uh songs um shout out to mitchy slick shout out to the wrong kind shout out to all the people involved in the movie it's really dope i suggest that you guys go check it out and as we transition to the next story it's actually about mitchy slick as he went on west coast styles recently they had an interview and mitchy slick actually talked about the relationship he had with Nipsey Hussle, very close relationship, and how he was able to influence Nipsey Hussle. But also, as Nipsey Hussle grew to be the star that he was, that he is, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle, real one. Um, how they actually bonded over trying to create solutions for this, for this lifestyle that they were, that they, that they live, you know, and trying to make the best out of, and try to teach people and elevate. That's the one key word that they have. It's one of the songs that um, Damu and um, Mitchie Slick have that's really dope that's out now. You guys can catch it. Um, salute to the whole squad and the Wrong Kind family, all the artists out there, and everybody out of Diego, San Diego. Um, salute to Twisted and Sane and all of them. Shout out to all of them. Brain Sick Music, you already know. But in the interview, Mitchie Slick actually talks about um, squashing the beef with Yayo yeah, Felony, which was huge because that's another West Coast MC that's dope. And they had some back and forth between neighborhoods and all that stuff. So since they did that, they talk about the possible new album together. Mitchie Slick, Yeah, Yo Felony will be amazing to hear. Good for the um for the rap culture to have. And we could put that behind us and get some dope music out of it. Because that's what we about here. Paul Frank, you already know I got you with all the dope music. Um, They also talked about Strong Arm Steady and how they were one of the first crews to actually... Put the West Coast back on when 50 Cent and G Unit was killing it with the mixtape gang. So basically, Strong Arm Steady revived the West in this um, movement um, with Exhibit, Cron Don, and um, Feel the Agony. Shout out to all of them. Strong Arm Steady goes hard. Um, and basically, they talked about the uh, tour that they had. Mitchie, Mitchie Slick and Cron Don actually toured last year in, uh, in Europe. That would be nice to see, obviously, after the corona thing goes away, hopefully soon, please. Um, but yeah, that would be dope to get. Um, and, you know, Mitchie Slick is one of the artists that he still is very, very humble. He considers himself an underground artist, even though he's done major, major amounts of dope albums and is legendary. You know what I'm saying? So salute and shout out to Mitchie Slick. You guys go watch Baby Gangsta because it's really dope. Um, now, you already know in my segment, Paul Frank, shout out to DJ Y, DJ Y, Junior for putting me on. Always got to rep my folks, the team. Um, I got to bring you some news about the new music. So, there's a project with MC8 that he just released. It's 20 tracks. He's got some killer collabs in there. Got, um, DJ Premier. He's got Conway. He's got Havoc from Mob Deep. He's got Corrupt, Be Real. Of course, Mitchie Slick. Yeah, that and Dave East and more I've listened to the album earlier today I was bumping that it's really really dope I suggest you guys go check it out for sure um also want to give a shout out to Sin Child which is one of the artists that I wanted to plug the albums he's got two projects out Sin Child is from the Midwest in Ohio um bringing that Midwest flavor he's down with AC Killer they are all Bone Thugs and Harmony affiliates. He's got two projects that are banging. Recently, I heard his new joint. It's an EP style um, project, but man, homie comes out blazing on there. Um, got some dope features on there, and from start to finish, you just got that energy. You know what I'm saying? You just want to let the whole thing ride. He's got some introductions in there and some stuff with um, Lazy Bone in there that are dope. Um, the first project, though, the first project has about I believe 18 to 20 tracks, all kind of features from the CNO soldiers, which were dope as hell too. 
um, you guys need to go check that out. I'm going to put everything in the caption and I'm going to show the covers at the end like how I usually do so you can see exactly who I'm talking about. Um, so shout out to Sin Chow, the CNO family, um, and salute to y'all making that dope music. We're going to keep it locked in. We're going to keep tuning in to the music for sure. We're going to slap that. Um, and most definitely, shout out to Monstro and shout out to Ghetto Star from Westlife Entertainment. Um, as you can see, it lays me up with the T. I got the merch right here, face mask from the West Coast. I'm a huge West Coast fan. They are from, uh, they're from Cali. Um, they get, they run their own independent um, label, putting out some dope hard music, which I'm also gonna share the cover and I'll put the names in the caption so you guys can go ahead and stream it, check them out, follow that. You can follow them on IG. Um, but shout out to y'all, shout out to Westlife, shout out to Ghetto Star, Monstro, uh, Fancy the Boss, and all that family because they dope to make some hard hitting West Coast tunes for sure. So definitely gonna keep that in rotation and we slap that over here on the daily. Believe that. So you already know, check me out. It's your boy Paul Frank. Please subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the bell for the notification and we gonna catch you on the next one. Salute.